The queen of country pop, Shania Twain, is here with us this morning. The five-time Grammy winner has a, a huge announcement to make. We're going to find out what it is in just a moment. I promise it'll be my first question. But first, a look back at how far she's come. That don't impress me much. She's the impressive megastar with a mega voice, Shania Twain. Oh, 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 the confident queen of country pop, selling more than 75 million records worldwide. Oh, hey. Earning endless accolades, including nine Billboard Music Awards, five American Music Awards, and five Grammys. From this moment, Her hits crossing genres, climbing country, bed, have your boots bed, and pop charts. Oh, 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 the Come on over. Her 1997 album, Come On Over, one of the all-time best-selling albums by a female artist. This is as good as it gets. And the best-selling country album of all time. Still going. Shania is here with a big announcement, reminding us why she's still the one. Still the one I to. The one that I to. Still the one yes, the woman has had a lot of hits, and as we've been saying all morning, she's still the one. Yeah. Shania Twain! Beautiful. Oh, wonderful <laughs> to see you again. Same okay, here. I said it would be my first question. What is the big announcement? What's the big announcement? Well, I'm finally, after 11 years, I'm going back on tour. Woo! Yes! <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been 11 yeah, years! 11 years, so finally going back on the road. You, yeah. Yes, you are. Is there anything more? Well, yeah, it's, it, this is a, a, a very, very uh, important time in my life on the road. This is going to be a big, big tour for me because it's going to be my last. No, it's not. No, I'm not, I'm not, we're not going to hear. But you, you, you feel this is going to be the last? This is my last tour. <sighs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to make the most of it. Let's put it that way. Will yeah, you, it's, a, it's a celebration tour for me, you know. So um, I, I really feel that, you know, Las Vegas, the, the show, the Still the One show, was a huge mountain to climb for me. I mm. took that challenge on. Um, I not only got through it, I enjoyed it. It was a huge reward, and I see the upcoming tour as a celebration of that. And I just feel like I'm ready to hang my hat up in that regard. And you know, I just really want to go out with a bang. And uh, the, the the concert tour on on the road is going to be completely different, a totally different show. How is it going to be different? Well, uh, you're still the one in Vegas. Um, was a show really designed for that stage, for Caesar's Palace mm -hmm. room, for the Coliseum, and. I didn't want to take part of the show on the road. I want to take an entirely new show that is custom made for traveling and for touring. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a kick, <laughs> yeah. rocking well, show. <laughs> as Las Vegas was. So it starts June in Seattle. Is that where you kick it off? Yes. June in Seattle. Yes. And you're going to June. 50 cities. 48 cities. Okay. And I should do 50 because I'm, <laughs> I'm 50 this year. I should just do 50 no shows. No way. So, yeah. Yeah, but you said it is about a, a celebration. And, and I and, and many of the crew, we, oh, we had a good time seeing you there on the stage, the horse coming in, your sister on stage with you. And there's a connection that you have with your, with your fans. And so many of them, when we, when we said you were coming, so many of them said, she better be saying that she's going on tour and, <laughs> and, and, that, and that. that they're already going, well, that, you going know, to be is, there. I'm, I'm calling this sort of the, uh, you know, unofficially, it's Rock This Country Tour. Um, but it's the after party tour. That's how I ah. see it. It's the after party to all of these years of, of, of uh, you know, I mean, I have been off the road for a while. Right. But Las Vegas was felt, you know, two years consecutive. It was mm -hmm. a lot of, just a lot of stage, a lot of work. Um, so this is the after party tour and celebration tour, yeah. We saw, you recently had an ABC special mm -hmm. um, that was kind of like going behind the scenes in Las Vegas and you said something about how being in Las Vegas and going back was kind of like therapy for you in many ways. How so? Well, first of all, I had to get the courage to get back up on stage again because I hadn't been up on stage in, you know, mm -hmm. a decade. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was a bit scary, a bit overwhelming. And of course, the stage at the Coliseum is giant. <laughs> it is. And so the whole thing was just um, bigger than I'd ever done before. So a big challenge, and I had some vocal challenges to overcome as well. And, and did, didn't yeah. uh, Gladys Knight and Lionel Richie help you with that? They did. They were like, 
they were just so encouraging and um, basically told me to get over it. <laughs> get back on the microphone. You can do it. And you did. And they were right. They were right. I just needed courage is what I really needed. And, you know, that, that helped me work through the whole, the whole thing. I want two questions because you have so many followers on social media that they absolutely love you. And one, uh, Lisa wants to know, any new music? Any new music that you have coming out? I'm, I'm working on the new record as we speak. So um, I'm on the microphone every day recording stuff. And so that's going to be coming up after the tour. So I've got to, you know, mm -hmm. I, I got to get back on the road. Um, sort of, I don't want to say get the touring out of my system, but I want to um, just enjoy that party, that yeah. celebration party. Um, and then I'll get, I'll get back to the record. I'll be, you know, it'll, I want it to come out when I'm 50. So it will happen. Oh, okay. I'm going to make it happen. You are going to make it happen. But this last one, and this is really, really a good one. Despite all the obstacles you have had to face throughout your life, you always overcome them with grace and poise. Who or what was your source of strength through it all? Oh, gosh. You know, I look, I look to others for my strength. I mean, I know that strength is within and all of that. Yeah. But I draw inspiration from the people around me, from others suffering, struggling. My mother was a you know, big sufferer in her own life, um, died young. She, uh, you know, I just, I look for the courage in others and, I, and then I find mine. Mm. So uh, I, I just have to say that the inspiration comes from um, everybody around me. I think that's why I just, I love being with the fans. I love getting out into the audience. Uh, I like hearing their stories. I like yeah. talking to them during the show. This is where I draw it from, and really. That's a connection you have. So it's going to be a celebration tour at yeah. After Party starting in Seattle in June. Thank you so much. And you keep, so when is your 50th? You keep referring to it. August, so right at the end of the tour, oh. it's all going to come together. It'll be an, I'll be an emotional wreck. No, you won't. Hey, you give us strength. You give us such inspiration. Oh, thank Shania, you. thank you. Thank you for being who you are. And Shania, still the one live from Las Vegas. CD and DVD is on sale now, only at Walmart. And the tickets for the Rock the Country tour go on sale for her fans next Tuesday, March 10th, and for the public on Friday, March 13th. Be there or be square. Yeah. And, you, and next time you come back here, you're going to be singing, all right? Okay, okay you're okay, going to be singing. Okay. That's going to be, that's, right. that's a guarantee. <laughs> hey, Monica, I booked her. I already booked her, Monica. Okay, got it. <laughs>